Ava named her girl Layla. Oh no, she had twins too. <laughs> Elijah. Okay. No. Triplets. No. This is over. All right. Trey. Roger. That's better. I, I don't know how to say T-R-E if it's Trey or Tre or what. What the heck? Uh, um. All right. I have four. Hey, it's Charity, and welcome to another Sims 4 challenge. Now, this challenge is put out by Amanda Play Sims in her Discord server. So, the challenges for March, uh, I'm going to use just one family to complete the March challenges. And we're going to do the family fortune welcome scenario, as well as try to make over the Sims using the best spring fits however it said lots of pastel colors but for my family that's not really going to work so i'm just going to do lots of flowers instead so create a garden space to hold all the spring plants have a, the flower bunny visit your lot find a rabbit and name it march and bonus befriend the rabbit so here we have the scenarios and we're going to do the family fortune scenario in the welcome section says that the difficulty is intermediate play with the landry household three squabbling siblings scheme to get their hands on their grandmother's fortune however the family matriarch only plans to award her inheritance to those that prove themselves worthy will you compete or cooperate to earn grandma's favor and potentially her millions of simoleons all right, so one of the challenges is to show off the pastel colors and create a sim for spring. The only problem is this family likes black. Every single one of them likes black. And then they have one other color that they like. And the grandmother, Nissa likes brown. So we're going with pastel brown also known as beige and whatever comes with that on an outfit that i can find so this is her everyday look she still looks like a grandmother this is her formal look i actually love this i haven't seen it it's part of the for rent cas and i hadn't looked at it yet so this is a nice formal dress with grandpa's sweater it's just perfect and then we have her athletic wear which is you know the pastel form of black is gray so yeah and this is her sleepwear and her party look this one was actually kind of cute because it has flowers on it and i know it's more of a fall look but hey we're calling this spring and then of course her bathing suit is more of a summer look but hey or maybe even fall then her hot weather look i actually think this one is pretty close to spring and then her cold weather look which again is more fall but hey we're going to call this spring and then Ava, who is the older sister. So I, for some reason, I just like this. I know it's probably not too stylish, but I, I don't like socks with heels, but the high thigh high socks, I don't really consider those socks. Those are closer to stockings and they just need to be a tiny bit higher. But to be honest, it, it's part of the style that just a little bit of skin shows so she likes red and what is pastel red pink so that's what I went with and this one actually has some red on it too so I have pastel pink and, and pastel green and then white with red accents so I think that works well for her and then this is her formal look which is a little bit dark but since it has all the florals, I'm going to allow that for spring. And then this is her athletic wear, her sleepwear, and I tried to keep the sleepwear somewhat modest, and you will see why in a bit. This is her party wear, and her swimwear, 
her hot weather look, which does have a little bit of the dark colors on it, but I liked the pink flowers. And then her cold weather look. And I know that's a lot of patterns, but I just like patterns. I'm not a person who just wears solid colors occasionally, but I do like patterns. And then Eddie. So Eddie is actually, I think Ava is the older sister, but she's the middle child. And Eddie is the oldest. He's also a geek and he likes green. So this shirt was perfect for spring and found some kind of lazy looking shorts and of course the iconic tennis shoes. And then we have his formal wear where he looks a little springy, uh, sort of. And then athletic wear where this is, this is a lot of past pastel green, but hey, he does have some brighter green down at the bottom. And then I know the sleepwear is darker green, but I'm going to allow it just because I didn't really have very many options for his sleepwear. This is his party look and his swimwear also did not have very many options there. His hot weather look is more of a summer vibe but I'm going to say that it counts for spring since it has flowers on it. And then his cold weather look where the cold weather looks are going to be darker, even though they're supposed to be spring, you can't really get springy clothes with winter clothes unless you just want to go white. Okay, and this is Lila. Lila is the youngest. So she's a little bit more outlandish with her outfits. And we have her everyday wear, her formal wear, which, you know, she likes purple actually, but this pink dress, uh, the purple color was just too dark. So I went with the pink just because it's very pretty and very springy. And then we have her athletic wear, her sleepwear, which again is pretty modest for her. And then her party wear, which is malicious compliance, basically, because she has to have her party wear on when she meets her grandmother for the first time and they have a dinner party. So she decided to cover up, but make it see through. And then her swimwear and her hot weather look and her cold weather look. So I have moved them all into Hennefort on Bagley with this cottage. And my story is going to be that for some reason, all of the grandkids have moved in with the grandmother and they're just kind of staying here temporarily. And she has, of course, a huge inheritance. And it says in the um, description, millions of simoleons. So the kids are interested in their grandmother's inheritance. And they're moving in with her, I guess, maybe because her husband died and she's getting older. And the subject has come up, what are we going to do with grandma when she gets too old to take care of herself? So the kids are here, but this is grandma's house and grandma has been living here as an elder with her husband who has passed away recently or whatever happened to him. I don't know. They don't give you the backstory for that, but we'll just say that he passed away and she has this bed. So she's going to sleep here and we're actually going to lock this upstairs area just so that the grandmother can get in and no one else. So I have spent most of the money fixing up this house and trying to make it so that Nissa will not be uncomfortable or bored because she gets bored in an ordinary environment since she's a snob. So I have paintings in every single room, which kind of fits anyway because she is also an art lover. 
And then downstairs, we have another bathroom, which the kids are going to share. And then Eddie can have his own room over here. But the two girls are going to have to share a bed. And I have to put the bed down in order to assign it, which is kind of annoying. But I have put a Murphy bed in the living room, which is a couch and also doubles as a bed. So since they're sisters, Ava and Lila will actually stay in the same bed. And that's why they have to have sort of modest sleepwear because they're just out in the living room. So yeah, that's the house. I have added a water heater and I actually took off Simple Living because I, I don't like Simple Living. It's just annoying. I don't want to go grocery shopping. We're going to focus more on the story here. And you have to tell the Sims to make food when you have Simple Living. And it's just too much to keep up with with a big household. So we have an outdoor area over here as well. I may need to add some lights. I kind of forgot about that until just now. But the little outdoor area over here is going to be for the chess table, for the games table. And then I cleared this space for a garden plot. I know there was a chicken coop here but grandma is not raising chickens. Grandma is gardening. And Nissa actually has a gardening skill of level eight. So she likes gardening. Um, well, she's skilled at it. She did, For some reason, they thought that she doesn't like it because they didn't give her that like. She likes mixology, painting, and writing. Oh, she likes to paint. Okay, I might have to get her an easel then. Does she know any painting? Of course not, because that would make it too easy. Okay, so she likes to paint. I will have to get her an easel. I'm deeply disappointed with the way things have gone for all of you. We have a proud family legacy to uphold, and it's clear that you've let it slip through your fingers. You've squandered your opportunities and shown little regard for the values that have made us who we are. If you want to have any hope of inheriting a share of my fortune, You'll need to demonstrate that you're willing to work hard and make something of yourselves. Prove to me you've turned over a new leaf and the inheritance could be yours. So would the ambitious Sim say, how dare you? We deserve that money. Or would she say, sorry, grandma, please don't be rash. We can change. Well, she's mean. But if she says, how dare you? We deserve that money. I kind of think that grandma might be a little bit sore about that. So even though she's mean, she's going to say, sorry, please don't be rash. We can change because I have a feeling that if she's too mean, that she actually won't get anywhere with grandma. Now it says improve grandmother's mood. Try being friendly to your grandmother or have her do fun activities such as watching TV or reading a book until she no longer feels angry or sad. Well, um, she doesn't feel angry or sad because of all the other moodlets that she has. Okay, well, that didn't work out so well because she had this little reproachful rage, but it's only angry plus one. She has so many other buffs that she doesn't need to worry about that. So that was already checked off. And the next thing that we have to do is throw a dinner party. Before we do that, though, we are planting some seeds over here. This is the little garden area. So our challenge for the month of March is going to be satisfied by this garden area over here. And since Nissa is actually gardening level eight, we can buy the spring seeds so that we definitely get spring plants. I'm trying to get different plants though. So far, I haven't been having very much luck with that. Okay, here's another one of these pop-ups. This is basically what determines what's going to happen in this scenario. You three can hardly sit in a room together without squabbling like school kids. Siblings should stand together and work as a team, not bicker. This petty inviting stops now. If you can't put aside grudges and act like a family for at least one family dinner, so help me, I will donate every last cent of my fortune to more deserving families. Okay, so I have played through this scenario before. 
And everything went so quickly because the grandmother died after about 10 days since it was normal lifespan. So this time I am playing on long lifespan. And I had a glitch, so I've had to restart this and basically do not have this dinner party where it says throw a dinner party. Do not do that until you get this pop up, because if you do, you will bug it basically. Um, for some reason, I wasn't getting the pop ups before. I think it was because it whenever you make a new scenario, you first have to make a new game so that your scenario doesn't play with an existing save. And I kind of forgot about that. So yeah, these scenarios are kind of buggy. So what should we say? You're right, we can mend fences or act like it, or it's not my fault my siblings are useless. Okay, well, again, Ava would probably say it's not my fault my siblings are useless, but what we're going to try and do is we're trying to appease grandmother. If you say something like that, even though that's probably in character for her, she's not going to give you the inheritance. So we're going to agree with whatever grandmother says. And it's more like putting on a face so that we can get the bunny. Okay, so what plants do we have here? We have a strawberry, a crocus, a carrot, I'm not sure what she's burying right now. It might be the rose. And then we got a daisy, a tulip, and a snapdragon. So we just need one more small plant and then another tree. Although I'm not really getting anything different here. Oh, and now grandmother is angry again. All right, so we'll try to be civil for one dinner party. And we might have to m improve grandmother's mood before she can cook something. Okay, she's almost done. Oh, she's uninspiringly decorated. Okay, I need to put something out here so that she's not bored with the decorations. So we're going to just basically leave the kids to their own devices. Unless there's a specific goal related to the family fortune or maybe their aspirations or their wants, but we're not going to drive the conversations between them too much because they basically just don't get along. Oh, oh no. So some Sims just can't get along with each new conversation and interaction having the potential to turn unpleasant. It's certainly looking that way between Ava and Lila. Okay, so Ava and Lila are going to be difficult. They will be mean to each other more often and will easily become bitter with each other and intentionally neglect social calls. Sure, that sounds appropriate. All right, so we are finished with the dinner and we are going to basically make a dinner party. And we're only inviting the household over. It's kind of uh, weird to have a dinner party for lunch, but that's what we're doing. And everyone is going to eat in silence. Wow. Okay, maybe there's some chatting going on between the two that don't have a good relationship. That's not good. Okay, Nissa, you have to socialize with your kids because that's one of the things that we need to do is have a... Maybe we can help fix bad relationship. She's going to try and convince Ava to be nice to Eddie. And we'll go ahead and make a group meal. Oh no, she's going to argue about music. No, let's not argue about music. Yeah, it says have three people become happy at the same time. That's almost impossible because they have other buffs that override the happiness. I don't think I can do that one. Okay, now you can quit chatting with them because you just need to finish your meal. Okay, I guess we should mostly control things from the point of Nissa's view. And we'll go with, like I said before, for the kids. We'll just try to follow along with the scenario to make Nissa happy. I'm just doing, I guess for Nissa's point of view, it makes more sense to do that for the party. And maybe we'll just leave her as autonomous for the rest of the time because she needs to complete the party goals so that we can make a little bit of money back here. 
none of the kids have jobs or any skills that are making money. So we unfortunately need to use Nissa to pay the bills. And well, maybe our crops will be enough to pay the bills for now. All right, and we have gold. Let's see if everyone can be civil for the rest of the party, even though Lila is very, very angry. She wants to rile up a sim. So she's going to rile up Ava, and we'll see if they get into a fight. They have the ability to fight right now. And to me, I see these two as being more at odds with each other than Eddie and either one of these two, because they're a little bit more volatile. One of them is hot-headed, and the other one is mean, and Eddie is just a goofball. It looks like Ava just wants to make money. I'm not sure what she can do to make money. Oh, they three people ended up happy at the same time for some reason. But we did get gold and we made it through the dinner party without fighting as long as they don't fight in the next 20 minutes. Okay, so we improved grandmother's mood. We threw a dinner party and we got through the dinner party without fighting. Heal negative sentiment. Make siblings reconcile by healing their negative sentiments towards each other by apologizing and being friendly to each other. Well, that's going to be hard for these two. Now, what you can do is you can help fix bad relationship. And it will actually improve the relationship between the two Sims pretty much, uh, well, pretty easily if you're good friends with the Sim that you're trying to improve the relationship for uh but not so good if you don't have a friendship with the sim either yeah sometimes apologizing doesn't go so well okay it's a little bit too early to go to bed eddie i know he's lazy but come on well i guess nessa's gone to bed too oh, of course now the girls are being mean to each other again no why are you getting a piece of cake grandma get something better Oh, these two are actually almost over their, oh, well, not over their sentiments, but almost liking each other. Uh, fine, Eddie, get a piece of cake. That makes sense for you. Okay, Lila and Ava are actually neutral now. They have no red, and hopefully I can start building a little bit of friendship. Of course, Ava starts being mean, or no, Lila's being mean. Lila, stop that. Okay, now for some reason they have amazing compatibility. I did, and, and Nissa has amazing compatibility with Ava. I have not noticed that before. Okay, but Eddie has awful compatibility. I did set some more preferences, but I didn't realize that they would have amazing compatibility. Now, Ava wants to earn money. I'm not sure what we should do to earn money. What are you doing? Okay, she's just holding it. Sometimes she likes to just look at the voodoo doll, but she has the voodoo doll tied to Lila, so hopefully she won't do anything mean. Ava! Quit being mean! I have to watch them, because they tend to just be really mean to each other. Oh no, Nissa and Ava are difficult. Okay, I guess Ava is not going to get very much of an inheritance. Ava! She's yelling at her again. Alright, we have to stop talking if you're going to be like that. Go cool off in the shower. Oh no, Ava wants to become enemies with Eddie. Ava, we're supposed to heal our negative sentiments. Yeah, it's a lot harder for Ava to talk to Eddie than it is for Ava to talk to Lila, which makes sense, I guess. I guess the girls are going to get along better than the two oldest. Let's see if group stories are any good at improving relationships. I don't really use them that often because they're kind of silly. They're more for kids because it's always a fairy tale princess or a dragon or something like that. Why can't it be a group story about something that happened at work or maybe some novel that you're reading no it's a, okay that didn't work very well well eddie you are not being very cooperative are you oh why are you immediately doing something mean <sighs> all right 
I have Ava and Lila able to cloud gaze successfully. So that's an interaction that takes a while and keeps them from having any negative interactions just for a little bit. Oh, look, it's Ian. He lives here in Cottage Living. Or should I say Hennifer on Bagley. Only thing is, Ian, I think, is married. I need to find a single elder just for Nissa to chat with. I don't know if she'll get into any romantic interests, but it would be kind of interesting to see if she could have a romance again. You poured it. You drink it. Okay, Lila likes deep thoughts. Sure, that's fine. Why are you going to sleep in the girl's bed? Oh, you're actually putting down the Murphy bed and then going upstairs to your own bed. Okay, let's go to the bathroom first, though. <laughs> Grandma is getting tired. They can't even apologize to anybody anymore. Okay, fine. I guess I should have everyone go to bed since everyone is getting tired. Oh, not down here. Upstairs. Okay, you cannot cue some other interaction when you've told someone to vacuum. If you cue another interaction, they'll immediately go do the other action and put the vacuuming portion... Oh, Lila is neat. And put the vacuuming portion in the queue. Okay, it's the March Festival. This is the holiday I have scheduled in order to have the flower bunny visit the lot. And that's one of our goals for this challenge. And here's the flower bunny. He visits the lot. The only problem is the flower bunny tends to put flowers everywhere and then people plant them. Now, Eddie and Lila both have a hobby. Lila wants to play the guitar, and Eddie wants to play video games and program. But Ava's aspiration is just make money. So I thought that I would have this little yard sale out here so that she could actually make some money and make some friends and have something to do. Ava, I leave you alone with Grandma just for a minute when you're... You are really having a good relationship with her and now you ruined it i don't think we're ever going to heal all the negative sentiments because apologizing doesn't usually work and they just keep getting more negative sentiments by being mean hey this time it's nissa being mean why are you doing that nissa oh and we got another negative sentiment great i'm going to have to lock you all up in your bedrooms Okay, Nissa wants to have a child. Um, she's an elder, though. We could adopt a child. Maybe that is the uh, story that we're going to go for here. Because Nissa wants to have children, and I don't know what happened to her kid. If it was her daughter or her son that had these grandkids, I have no idea. But... Maybe she wants to have another one because she's unhappy with her family right now since they're not too successful. I think Nissa is going to adopt a kid. Now, Nissa is older, so we definitely want an older child. Gregory. Okay, that hairdo makes you look like a girl, but I guess, I guess boys can have long hair too, but yeah. Let's see. Oh, well, we'll get Gregory. That's fine. You'd better be nicer to Grandma Ava because she's coming home with a new heir. And she might give all of her fortune to her adopted child. Hello, Gregory, and your little shark slippers. <laughs> That's so cute. All right. And we have little Gregory here. I have given him his makeover. I didn't do too much. I just changed the color of his shirt on his every day. But he has a lot of cute spring outfits. And then we made over this room. So the office is now the kids' room. And sorry, Eddie, but you're going to have to sleep out in the living room with your sisters now. So that's the way that goes. And we're going to assign this bed to Gregory. Oh, and now Gregory needs to do the uh, flower bunny things. Okay, well, I think the flower bunny might be gone. Oh, no, there you are. So we only have 137 simoleons left. Uh, hopefully Ava will continue to tend the table. But what happens is she gets sort of tense because of her siblings walking by. 
and her grandmother making her upset, and then she stops tending the table. It's very annoying. No, don't be mean. Stop talking to each other. Hey, Lila, I've been going through some stuff lately. Do you mind if I come over and stay for a while at your place? I just want to get away from things for a few days. Give myself some time to process everything. Great. Now we have a stayover guest. And I don't know where you're going to sleep. Hopefully there's just one of you. Oh, I don't have enough money. I thought it was because Move Objects was off, but no. I don't have enough money to buy another cot or another bed. All right, well, we'll have to wait until we sell something. Okay, now she's very tense and she can't sell anything. That's so annoying. You're being mean to everyone. Quit being mean. It's not making you feel better. It's making you feel tense. Okay, she's also sad that she has a lack of employment. So we might have to get her a job because she's ambitious. And okay, Nissa is not going to join the Paragorns. Okay, these two are actually friends now. No, don't be mean. Come on, stop it. <laughs> I have to watch Ava like a hawk. All right, what if we just sell all of these things outright because she's too tense? Or maybe we could try to get something from Lila. Lila wanted to play for tips, but we have to go somewhere off lot in order to do that. So Lila went to the bar by herself so that she can get uh, away from the family for a while. And she wants to earn 50 simoleons in tips. I'm not sure how much that bed costs. Yeah, it's 300 simoleons. I was going to get her a drink at the bar, but no. You need to play for tips and you need to get more than 50 simoleons. You need to get another 150 simoleons. It does seem to work better when you're inside the bar versus outside. Even though everyone spawns over here, it seems like they don't immediately gravitate toward you. They go inside. So yeah, don't stand outside and play. Go inside. Okay, her skill is pretty good. Can we write songs yet? No, it doesn't look like it. She's getting 12 simoleons a tip. Okay, so she's only level 6. I think you have to be level 8 to write songs and level 9 to license them. So she's got a ways to go. Alright, so her next want is to play the guitar and she's already playing it. We're only going to stay until midnight though because we really need to get back. Everyone is going to be super rested and then Lila is going to be a little bit tired. Uh, no, it looks like they're actually not resting. That's good. I have them building skills so they don't sleep except for the kid of course because the kid has school tomorrow. We need 300 simoleons in order for our house guest to be able to sleep. It says she's able to promote her side hustle by advertising online. Is that just the side hustles that are the ones you join probably almost there there's a lot of people tipping now it's really paying to be at the bar around midnight instead of uh very early in the evening and there's our house guest ian followed us to the bar oh, are you going to tip us good because i need to buy your bed okay that's it we made enough let's go home stupid house guests <laughs> i have too many people in this house as it is all right, now you're going to go to bed. You're going to go to bed. And that is not your computer. And uh, every time I leave, I'm going to have to reset these stupid locks on the computers. Oh, yes, and the door locks. I always have to reset everything. If you go off lot, all of your locks are no longer good. I mean, they might work, but, but most of the time, they don't work for people in your household. So if you have computers locked to certain individuals, then you have to reset them pretty much. So all of the doors are locked for pets because I don't want foxes in here. I think that the lock for pets sometimes doesn't affect the foxes, but sometimes it seems to work. So it's just really strange. Oh yeah, and this one up here, I have to make sure it only Nissa is allowed here. I might allow the child up here. Okay, so Gregory is also allowed to use the upstairs bathroom. And then the downstairs, 
Should I lock Gregory's room just to him? No, I think it's fine as long as I lock his computer. Because, to be honest, Eddie, you have your own laptop. You need to use your laptop, please. Now, I know Ava was using it, but hey, she's not using it anymore. She's actually happy. Can I get her to tend the table and then have everyone else go to sleep? And then maybe she won't get tense and then she'll just have to sleep tomorrow when everyone else is awake. That actually could work. Although now she's very tired. She'll do this until she gets tired and then I'll make her go to sleep. Oh, this is broken. I need to fix my toilet. Okay, Eddie, you're the designated handyman. <laughs> Sorry to wake you up. I know you're lazy, but go fix the toilet. Otherwise, it's going to be an issue. You can go back to sleep after you fix the toilet. I didn't get Gregory a toy box. So, and he also wants to have a slumber party because he wants to be a slumber party animal. So he needs a sleeping bag. All right, she is tense, but at least it's only tense and not very tense. If she gets tired, I'll have to send her home. No, oh, she's tense because of Cecilia. Okay, great. Don't talk to Cecilia. All right, she got an, a successful holiday. So hopefully that will improve her mood. Basically, I can't have her say anything to anyone because she's just so mean. Okay, we only sold one item, but I think we might have to go to bed soon. It seems like Ian is a gloomy person, so I can't even ask him to help out around the house while he's here. I thought maybe that his husband had passed away, but it looks like his spouse is still Derek McMillan. I'm keeping an eye out for bunnies. I know this lot sometimes gets random bunnies, wild bunnies that come around, but I haven't seen any yet. Oh, and Nissa likes gardening. That makes sense. I don't know why they didn't set her as liking gardening in the first place. Okay, the only way that I can get Ava and Eddie to get along is to use Lila to help Ava fix her bad relationship. Because if Eddie and Ava are apologizing to each other, they just get more and more upset. And I think I could probably turn it around and also ask Lila to improve her relationship with Eddie. I wonder if Lila can apologize to Eddie. I will try it once, and if it doesn't work, then we'll have to forget about apologizing with Eddie. Yeah, it doesn't seem to work with Eddie. Yeah, forget it. Where are you going? Come back here. Oh, okay. She already figured out her differences. All right. Well, we'll go and tend the table and stock the table and then start a yard sale. No, Ava, you're in a good mood. You need to stay out there and tend that table. Oh, and now Nissa wants to get into a relationship. Well, Nissa, I'm not sure who you can have a relationship with. I'm pretty sure that he doesn't like women. We'll ask him if he's single. Maybe his husband died away. He's very sad, and I just don't know why. Oh, he's married still. Why does no one ever buy anything? I think I just might have to get Ava a job, because unfortunately, it seems like her making money through the selling table is not working. Every once in a while, I'll have it where they won't buy anything, even if I adjust the markup. So I don't know why that happens. She did have a want to join a career. Or no, it wasn't a want. It was that she had a tense buff because she was ambitious and didn't have a job. So maybe we'll just get her a job anyway. I think that Lila is too young and Eddie is too lazy to have a job right now. I think we're just going to give her a business career so she can go into management or she can be an investor. I'm not sure if either one of those is better. Maybe investor is better, but I might send her up the management chain just because that sounds like more of her type of work since she's mean. 
Okay, and she needs to fill out reports, which she needs a computer for. And Eddie is always on his computer. And this computer is locked just for the kid. So I'm not sure how I'm going to have her use a computer. We'll try. Oh, there's a rabbit. There's a rabbit. Hold your horses. There's a rabbit. All right, Nissa, come say hello. Of course, she has to go to the bathroom. Great. Why are you drinking, Nissa? Let's give the rabbit a tomato. Stop walking all the way over here to put your glass down. It is just ridiculous. Go to the bathroom. All right, it looks like people might be buying things now. Sometimes it gets bugged and sometimes it will stop getting bugged. Okay, where's my rabbit? Where did he go? Nissa. Uh, she had to use the bathroom and now I don't know where the rabbit went. Oh, there you are. I should probably name this rabbit March. March is a gray bunny. It would be better to have a white bunny, but hey, I can't be picky. Now, just naming the bunny March gets our goal done. However, I'm going to give March a tomato and see if March is going to be my friend. Bunnies like tomatoes. Oh no, March does not like petting. Oh, Nissa enjoys spending time with her fuzzy pals and wants to take it to the next level as an obsessed cat lover. Why don't you give me the animal enthusiast trait? I'm socializing with a rabbit, which is cottage living. And for some reason, I'm going to become a cat lover because I like to talk to bunnies. I guess we'll have to get a cat. All right, we changed it to a cat hangout. So hopefully we can get the cat without having to pay an adoption fee. Oh, Eddie wants to make a video game or an app and reach level three of the tech guru career? Well, I don't know. Should we get Eddie a job? I mean, it's not telling us to. I know that is one of the goals up here um, is to get a job. So we're not making very much progress on the heel negative sentiments. So I might as well just go ahead and get them jobs because we are running out of money. And he's lazy, so I think he's going to be an eSport gamer instead of an entrepreneur. Although I think the entrepreneur branch gets more money. I'm going to make him a video gamer. This rabbit is not being very cooperative. And I wish I could give rabbits treats like you can with the chickens and the cows and the llamas. But you can't really to make them more friendly. Ah, uh, best. Sorry, I can't afford it right now. Okay, so they finally took away this option. It used to be that you could invest a thousand simoleons, even if your household did not have it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Grandparent candy? Where do these things come from anyway? Where do grandparents even get these from? Are they bought in bulk somewhere? Maybe some mysteries are better left unsolved. But Gregory doesn't have a grandparent because Nyssa is the grandmother to these adults and Nyssa adopted Gregory. Okay, that's interesting. Well, we'll put up Gregory's school drawing and maybe we'll eat the candy. And then uh, I don't know if I want him to do his homework yet. Nissa probably needs to help him with homework. Yeah, help a child with homework three times. So I'm going to try it. Oh, we got to read to him for two hours and socialize with him 10 times before we help him with his homework. And I'm trying to make friends with Bunny March. All right. Well, hopefully this goes quickly. March is a little bit more friendly right now but it just seems like it it goes well for a while and then i get a whole bunch of negative interactions and i can't figure out how to do this oh this is not very good at comedy that would explain why being funny to march is not really working i want to get to the point where i can ask for gardening help because i can also buy a rabbit home that is if we have enough money no i don't like that <laughs> He likes the pets now. 
oh, I can purchase the rabbit home and I can ask him for gardening help. Okay, so we don't need to take any more risks. It's already 9 p.m. It's going to be too late to help Gregory with his homework. Oh, we can barely afford this. Okay, the only thing is if I lock the gate for pets now, the rabbits won't be able to get in. Well, I guess I'm going to have to unlock it. And I don't know why everything looks, eh, well, it looks a little bit better, but these plants don't. It's supposed to be spring, and for some reason, these plants look like they're all dried out, even though they don't need water. It's like it's fall or something for some reason in my game. Why are you being mean out here to your sister? I thought I had her playing a song. No, let's not be mean. Apologize again. Oh, it's Mayor Whiskers. For some reason, the read child interaction. Okay, finally, it lasted two hours. I had to read three different books in order to get two hours. Oh, some older Sims have a knack for providing reassurance and emotional support for their younger family members. The older Sim can serve as a good role model, sharing their many life experiences to help guide the younger Sim through life. Recently, it seems that Nissa and Gregory have this type of relationship. When family members have a supportive family dynamic, both Sims will actively provide affection and compliments to each other. The older Sim will actively seek to console or cheer up the younger Sim, and the younger Sim feels comfortable venting complaints or asking for help a bit more. Yes, Nissa and Gregory are supportive. So if she has a really good relationship with Gregory, then what we're going to do is pretty much he's going to have all of the um, inheritance. And if he's still a child, then maybe one of his older brothers and, or actually uncles. Actually, no. Nieces and, and nephew. So basically, he is an uncle to all of these nieces and nephews. And that's just kind of funny. But it's because his adoptive parent has grandkids. Okay, finally, now we need to help him with his homework before he goes to bed. Oh, this is going to be close. It's almost 1 a.m. No, don't go to bed. You have to go down here. After you help him with his homework, then you can go to the bathroom and go to bed. All right, they're finally all in bed. I'm hoping by all of them having jobs, at least except for Nissa and Lila, that they won't be getting negative sentiments. Apparently radios and TVs will wake your sons up and also t toddlers throwing a tantrum, babies crying, but playing a guitar right next to your bed? No, that doesn't wake you up. Oh, whoops, kid, you gotta go to school. I know you're tired. He slept in. Oh, he's gotta go to work too. Well, I don't know how I'm going to fix the sink if my handyman has to go to work. It's 138 simoleons to call a repairman, and I can't ask the stupid stay over guest because he's always gloomy. He's too gloomy to help out. Although he does sometimes help out by mopping. Still, I don't know. Should Lila fix the sink? I don't think that we should allow regular Sims to fix things like that. I think it should be someone... Uh, the reason why it makes sense for Eddie is not because he's a guy, but because he's a geek and he is in the tech career. And those people tend to be a little bit, you know, I'll look it up on YouTube. I know because I'm one of those people. And I have replaced plumbing in my other house as you know just look it up on youtube follow the directions it's not that hard and yeah i can fix simple things but yeah um i don't think lila is that type she's a music person she's a creative i yeah and she's neat well music lover neat and non-committal i don't see any of those traits really saying that she's handy. Same with Ava. I really don't think Ava would be able to fix the sink. So what I'm going to do is just wait until Eddie gets home. 
and we'll have Ava work hard, but Eddie is not going to work hard. He's going to actually um, take it easy, <laughs> and he might get fired. But yeah, that's that's basically what he's going to do. Is he's going to be a lazy person and take it easy all the time, and then Ava is going to work hard all of the time because she is an ambitious person and a perfectionist. So, and she also has a business aspiration to be fabulously wealthy. So that makes sense that she would work very hard. Lila, again, I am not having her join a career at this time. She really should be in the entertainer career, but I don't think that we're going to do that because there is a task that appears over here sometimes that says get a job and if i if i get that then i will have lila get the job where is my harvest i didn't get any harvest this morning well oh well well somebody else harvested my plants maybe we'll come meet one of these cats Oh, look, it's March. Okay, Ruby does not like me. Oh, that's right. We need to get into a relationship with Nyssa. I pinned that one because I didn't want it to go away. Maybe one of the other cats will just like me right away. What about Kitty? Ruby didn't like me, so I think I'm going to try another cat. If I can ever introduce myself. Kitty likes me. Oh, Kitty is a glutton. All right, so we'll try and befriend Kitty. And I also need to make a club and try and find some single elders for Nyssa to date. All right, let's see. We have good compatibility with Blaze. Amazing with Dennis. Amazing with Don Gooseman. I'm not sure about the other two because it's not telling me. Does anyone want to fix my sink? That would be great. Oh, everything is breaking around here. Okay, uh, Blaze is a party animal? I don't know if that is really a good thing or not. Oh, she's autonomously getting complimented from him for some... Oh, he's squeamish. Well, that's not the best, but... He is flirting with us first. Where are you going? Are you got to go to work or something? He's just leaving. What are you doing? I think he's leaving because he has to go to work or something. Well, on to the next. Maybe Don Gooseman is more our type anyway. Nissa does like mixology. And that is kind of close to nectar making because mixology is also making drinks. Oh, he's a loner though. Horse lovers, okay. Okay, he loves the outdoors, so it's not that bad. Okay, where is the alien? Supposedly the alien is in my conversation somewhere. Okay, he left. It, this guy is acting like he's in my conversation, but he's not. Okay, maybe if I talk to him and then tell him to go away, because it looks like he's just talking to Don. Although Ignacio is a foodie, maybe he would actually be more appropriate. Okay, he's a geek and family-oriented. Okay, they have two matching traits. I think that's better than Don Gooseman. So we have to make sure that they at least have a little bit of a, a no, not passionate kiss. Okay, let's let's just make sure that they can flirt and that they exchange numbers. Maybe I know you're tired, Nissa, but come on, we have to get a little bit of a romance bar with him. Otherwise, Don Guzman is the one that we have the most romance with. Okay, I want to at least have a first kiss. Maybe not boyfriend girlfriend right away, but. They need to work on their friendship. All right, so these two have had a first kiss. They should be able to do romantic socials even without the club gathering prompting them to do romance. Where does this kid keep getting this grandparent candy? 
There's no grandparent around. <laughs> I think maybe it just happens and it doesn't matter. I wonder if he gets any kind of buff from that. No, Nessa, you can't go to bed yet. I know that's where you're going. Okay, Eddie's performance is just average. And then Ava is actually very close to a promotion, even though she's not doing her filling out reports. Oh no, Ava is starting to burn out from her mental load. She needs to do some creative skills. Well, dancing is not necessarily creative, but it is fun and it is fitness. So hopefully that counts. What mental skill is she using, really? I mean, yeah, she's going to work in a job that requires mental ability, but I don't think it's that much. All right, Nessa, you can go to sleep now, but you need to use the bathroom first. Okay, Ava likes jokes. That's good. Yes, Nessa, you're tired. Go to sleep. I thought I told the kid to have a shower first. I think maybe someone else was in there. All right, so Lila and Eddie's are kind of a... Well, maybe if I tell a joke or something, or do silly behavior. If I tell a joke to him when he's playful, is he going to like it? He likes comedy. Oh, and Eddie and Lila are going to be jokesters from telling one joke. Oh, that is too much. Well, maybe that will help their relationship. Oh, it was TV season premiere? I didn't even notice. All right, so, wow, Eddie and Ava still have a huge red bar let me try telling him a joke it probably won't work but you never know having them apologize just doesn't work so i'm not going to have them apologize to each other we'll just try joking oh and it worked okay so i'm only going to do it once and then we're going to go to bed why can this kid not take a shower is the shower broken or inaccessible somehow but only to the kid I told him twice to take a shower, and he still hasn't done... Oh, well, yeah, she's going in there. Oh, no, she's not. Okay. Pretty sure no one was in there the last time I told him to take a shower. All right, today is Love Day. So maybe we can have Nissa hook up on Love Day? I don't know. All right, so Ava is still under mental fog for six hours. She needs to do something creative. Maybe we could have her do some painting. Although she does have, like, no skill and she's dazed and she has work in two hours. Well, it's not going to go well, but at least maybe she can get started on it. And for some reason, when you tell her to go outside and paint, um, okay, three hours, that's not that bad. Okay, when you tell her to go outside and paint, she just goes in her pajamas. Right. I want to get rid of this mental fog before I go to work. It doesn't seem to be going down quickly, but at least it's going down. Ooh, she's a perfectionist and she didn't like her imperfect work because it's poor quality. And her burnout went back up to three hours after it was down to two hours. So it's, it's like fluctuating back and forth. Oh, great. She's going to have to go to work with this dazed mental fog. I guess I won't have her work hard then. Oh, whoops. I forgot to tell the kid to get up again. All right. He's going to school late. No, don't grab a drink. Go to school. Oh, no. Eddie is starting to get a midlife crisis. Oh, well. That'll be interesting to work through. Okay. Why are they still grudging after a fight? It has, like, no time left on it, and it's not going away. Nissa and Eddie have some unfinished business. This conflict is unresolved and tensions are high, at least from Nissa's perspective. So we have to have Eddie apologize to Nissa more often, I think. There's still a festering grudge between Nissa and Ava, though. And they're actually friends. All right, so Lila and Nissa have completely resolved all of their sentiments that are negative great the two that are home all the time well that's unfortunate and i didn't get any plants again today no harvest at all why oh well there's some lemons is someone stealing my harvest is that why i'm not getting any it could be that my house guest is taking them 
elevator encounter. While riding the elevator, Ava looks up from her phone to see the doors open and the CEO of the company walk in. Will Ava say something to make an impression or keep quiet? Oh, she's going to say something. Ava strikes up a conversation with the CEO who ends up being quite friendly. It's nice to know that the company's leadership is still in touch with their workers. Well, Ava's not working hard today. Hopefully she'll get a promotion, but I doubt it. For Love Day, Gregory decided to handcraft a card for their crush, complete with pipe cleaner hearts, glitter flowers, and dinosaurs. Because who doesn't love dinosaurs? Gregory just needed to decide if she, he should let it slip that it was him who made the card or secretly drop it in their cubby. I think he's going to deliver it by hand because he wants to be friendly and outgoing. Oh, he's actually outgoing. So yeah, that was the right choice. Gregory's crush didn't even know he existed. This was an opportunity. In the heat of the moment, Gregory walked past the cubby and delivered the card directly into the hands of the most popular kid in school. After having it declared the most awesome card ever, Gregory was invited to hang out with the popular kids at recess and lunch whenever he wanted. Doesn't that make Gregory a popular kid too? All right. Why is this cat not letting me feed it? Where'd it go? I want to befriend the cat. Also, it seems that Lila has misplaced her guitar. Where did it go? Hey, Nissa, it's Ignacio. Do you want to hang out tonight at the Ancient Ruins? Sure, but that means I'm going to go right now. Eh, that's all right. Partying with club friends. Okay, this shouldn't be a hangout, though. We should be on a date because it's love day okay we're going to ask him to be our boyfriend now so hopefully this get into a relationship will be satisfied and since we're flirty we should be able to give him a rose where is my give a rose option oh there it is it's under flirtation that counts as giving flowers okay we still have to go on a date really okay we're going to ask him out on a date and then hopefully we can just stay here. This is the ancient ruins, right? Okay. All right. So basically what I have done is he asked me to come here and I turned this into a date. Oh, but I need to use the restroom and there's nothing here but a pea bush. <laughs> Great. Um, yeah, we're just going to have to go pee in a bush. I'll be right back. All right, then we'll come over here and sit and talk with our date. Oh, we need to flirt three times. That'll be easy. No, don't talk to Mortimer. No. Why do you keep getting up? Okay, well, fine. Mortimer is making it awkward. Mortimer, wherever you are, get out of my conversation. And we're waiting for Mortimer to come over here for the next turn in our conversation which makes absolutely no sense i guess it's mortimer's turn to talk no we dropped him from the conversation good okay we're not going to propose to ignacio or anything if he proposes to us we might consider it or if it or if she gets a want or that uh offer of a inherit well no she doesn't need money so she's not going to get married for money but if Ignacio proposes, we might do it. So we're ending the date and we'll go back home because our kid is home now. Oh no, Ava is burned out. Even though she came home with no burnout. All right, whatever. Okay, she should probably take a vacation day if she has vacation. Oh, she has work in three days. All right, well, she'll just do nothing then. Okay, they become good friends. Are they over their grudge? I mean, come on. They're good friends now. Okay, good. They no longer have a grudge. So Nissa and Lila are good now. Lila and Ava are good now. Now, I think we have to heal Ava and Nissa. Yes. And then Eddie. Oh, my God, Eddie. We have to heal his conflict with Nissa. And his conflict with Ava. And his conflict with Lila. Great. All right. So Eddie has work in six hours. He should play some games. 
Let's see. Gregory doesn't have any kid friends. He needs to make some friends. Weren't they supportive before? I'm not sure I want to replace that. No, I think Nissa was supportive with him. I wish it would tell you if you're replacing one or if you're setting an original one. Okay, I'm not doing a grind, so I'm trying to figure out how can she take a break. I'm pretty sure selling things on the selling table would not be considered a break. But I don't know. Maybe she could cloud gaze or something? Why can she still apologize? There shouldn't be any more sentiments. Oh, there is a festering grudge between the two. So Lila and Ava do have something to apologize. Even though they're really good friends. It's like they continuously have something to apologize for. All right, apologizing to Eddie and Eddie apologizing to someone else seems to never work. Even though they're not really that unfriendly. Why are you doing that? Oh, Nissa, don't mock grandmother. Go cloud gaze. Okay, no, never mind. It. W oh, no, Nissa and Eddie are difficult. Okay. Yeah, Eddie's being difficult with everyone. I think Eddie's just going to lose out. And Eddie's having an early midlife crisis. Well, not yet. It's just that it's it's getting there. All right, so it's Saturday and Gregory needs to have a slumber party. But the only thing is it's 9.30 a.m. And I basically do one week in each of my households for my stories. So we will be ending it at the end of today and picking it up another time. The only issue with that is that slumber parties are supposed to be overnight. So I don't know, maybe we'll start the party today and end it tomorrow. What time should a pump slumber party start, though? If I start it now, it will end at 930. I think it runs for 12 hours. So I need to start the slumber party around dinner time. Oh, and the kid can't even plan the slumber party. So if you run into this problem where the host is not going to know everyone, what you can sometimes do is you have to do this on the calendar. Plan an event. And where is the slumber party? There it is. How long does it last? Does it tell you? No, it doesn't say. Well, we're going to pick Gregory as the host. And Gregory and Nissa can be the host. And, oh, okay. So I don't know any of these kids yet because I added Gregory as the host. I actually can choose all of the kids that Gregory knows. That's, I've never seen that happen before. I don't know. Maybe it has happened, but that's cool. Maybe that's been a patch. But usually what you would have to do is you would have to pick two different people. And like it would pick somebody in the household that Nissa knows. And then with Gregory, go back and edit the event because you could edit the event as a kid, but you couldn't create an event as a kid. So, well, it's different now. Just put them as the host and it adds these people automatically. So maybe Ignacio will come to the slumber party. I mean, <laughs> that'll be Nissa's guest. And how long does it last? It won't let me start it at 6 p.m. because something else starts. Maybe I'll start it at 5 p.m. Um, well, I can't figure it out. I, I guess I'll figure it out when it starts at 5 p.m. because I have no idea what, uh, how long it runs. It might be 12 hours. It might be 14 hours. Uh, I don't really remember. It's going to suck if it ends at like 5 a.m., but I'm going to have them come over at 5 p.m. and hopefully it won't end too early on Sunday morning. And it still doesn't tell you. It says it starts at 5 p.m. What time do, is it over? Well, fine. All right. The other thing I am working on is the cat. Is the cat here? Oh, wait. No, that's the fox. That's not the cat. Okay. No, kitty is not here. So there are no cats here. Okay, I'm getting rid of the burnout. Hopefully, I can start selling some things now. Okay, no more burnout. Cloud gazing worked. All right, if I had to pick a place, 
for a computer, where would I put it? Okay, Nissa likes silly behavior. That seems a little bit out of character, but I guess she's a silly grandma. Oh, Lila finally li made guitar level eight. Why are you getting out of the shower? Take a shower. There's something wrong with the shower. If I specify take a shower and then tell them to go do something else, they immediately drop the shower interaction. Why is that the case? Yeah, the shower interaction just drops. Okay, whatever. Go write your song. Oh, come on. Quit being mean right after I have you apologize. I'm going to have Nissa not talk to you at all. Oh, no, wait. We, we can add that to dryer. Wash the laundry, please. Oh, why are you insulting her? Nissa! It's like if I don't queue up everything, she insults her. Apologize. Oh, she can't even apologize because she's already apologized. All right. Well, whatever. Okay. We are ready to start the slumber party. I guess that means I can't have a yard sale anymore. Okay, fine. Okay, we're, we are going to adopt our mischievous cat. We don't have a TV, though. So I can't really have Sims watching the TV at the same time. Oh, Eddie got promoted. Oh, come on, wake up. Wake up, kitty. I want to adopt you. Why are you going over there? Come on, stop. Stop, cat. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, stop doing it. Oh, this is annoying. I don't know why... The interactions for cats are just, they block you from doing anything with them. I just woke you up and you're going to go over here and beg for food. I will feed you if you let me adopt you. Come on, cat, stop. And now you're leaving. No. <laughs> Come on, I can't adopt the stupid cat. All right, that's it. I had the adopt option available. So we are going to cheat and add you to the family. Kitty, you are now part of the family and you are not leaving. Okay, we'll ask everyone to set up the sleeping bags. Although I don't think that there's enough room for anyone to set up a sleeping bag anywhere. Yeah, they're all outside. Okay, time for bed. And that's going to get us gold. And where are you going? Where is your sleeping bag? Oh, that one is actually yours? Okay, I bought you a sleeping bag and there's one in your inventory. Okay, I think I have it so everyone can sleep without having a whole bunch of stuff in the way. It's kind of cute how the kid is sleeping in a sleeping bag when his perfectly good bed is in his room. Oh, we finished a song. Okay, well, this is the, a mournful lament. Um, How about my uncle is a kid <laughs> that will be her mournful lament eddie is at the breaking point in life he feels like his life hasn't been very successful thus far okay so eddie all right yeah 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 okay i don't know exactly what his aspirational goals will be he wants to hire a professional service he wants to be waited on hand and foot <laughs> put money in a vault Go to work for it, get focused, eat a gourmet meal. Okay. Um, well, we are not putting money in a vault because I don't know where we would fit a vault in here. We have to get a place for the cat to sleep in a cat bed and a litter box. I don't know where we will put it all, though. Oh, there's still a stupid suitcase here from when that guy stayed over. So maybe we'll get rid of that. We'll put the litter box over here. I would put it in the bathroom, but there's honestly no room for it because then how will you get into the shower? And if I put it in front of the sink, then the sink is kind of blocked and the door is also kind of blocked. So we will not do that. Um, let's also get a food bowl and that should probably go in the kitchen somewhere. I'm not sure. Maybe over here in this corner, it hopefully won't block anything right there. And then a cat tree. Uh, where will it go? Preferably next to a window. Yeah, I don't see a place to put it that wouldn't be in the way. Maybe upstairs when the guests leave because 
Well, I could put a cat bed over here for when the slumber party guests leave. Maybe we can put this here for now. There isn't really too much choice when it comes to cat beds. Uh, that's somewhat matching. It would be nicer if it was green in the middle instead of gray, but maybe we should go with the cream and green. Or we go with the red with just a circle. Oh, that, that one's perfect. Okay. So I wanted a little bit of red to bring out the red accents, but I didn't want gray in the middle of that. We still don't have room for a cat tree, really. This place is getting to be too small for the people who live here. The only place to put a cat tree is over here. I guess I could change this around. Yeah, that still makes sense. Don't have room for the big cat tree. What about... Nope, not that one either. Is it going to have to be this tiny one? Yeah, it's going to have to be the tiny one. Well, at least there's a green one. Or should I try for red? Uh, well, there's not a red option. Green it is, then. Now, we're just trying to get the siblings here to be friends. And it seems like people don't get along with Eddie very well. So what I'm doing is having them pillow fight until they have a good relationship. and Or at least a neutral relationship to get one more bar of green just a tiny bar of green and then you can add them to social buddy hey this it's me ignacio do you want to go out on a date um not right now ignacio i'm kind of busy okay we had the siblings befriend each other so now they're all friends and the only thing left to do is to get eddie to like nissa Oh, Eddie is now going to be family oriented because he's been enjoying spending time with family recently. Sure. I think it's because he became friends quickly with three of his family members. And so he got that prompt to change. All right. Now we have healed everyone's negative sentiments. I have double checked to make sure everyone is happy and everyone is has only positive sentiments but there's a currently a bug with this scenario that this heal negative sentiments does not complete if you have any positive sentiments and i even used a ui cheat command to get rid of all the positive sentiments as well and apologize and make everyone friends and it's still not completing so what you can do is use ui cheats and this might be a little bit buggy so let's save the game first and right click on this and it will complete it. All right, so now it says become respectable adults, get a job for all siblings. I don't have a job for, for all of them. So this should not be checked. Um, and optional, find a romantic partner for each sibling. This should not be checked. And this one should be because grandmother is, has no more negative sentiments, but we're going to leave it unchecked for now and see if we get the pop-ups. Okay, we did. Your grandfather and I have been working ever since we were teenagers. You three obviously think you're too good to get your hands dirty, but in my day, a respectable adult had a job and a family for that matter. But given how low my expectations are for the lot of you, I'll take gainful employment and some basic life skills as the minimum. Okay, I guess it's time to grow up. Um, we're not going to say we're, we're rich. Why waste our lives working? Because that will make grandmother mad. We're trying to you to get the end goal of pleasing grandmother, because I think that one's the hardest one to get. Now that you've got a job, I'm marginally less disappointed, but I still need to see a little more from you. Why would I give my money to a descendant that has no plans for their future? It's time for you to get out there and meet your better half, though I highly doubt you can but feel free to prove me wrong. Okay, fine. You win. I will leave the house. I like the why would I want a family? I have video games. But no, we're going to leave the house and find everyone a social partner. Okay, so we should be able to cl right click this heal grandmother's sentiments because we've already done that. Now, the only one that doesn't have a job 
is Lila. Okay, I got another pop-up. I have spent a lot of my life feeling upset with how you three turned out. At times, I feel guilty. At times, I feel saddened. And more often than not, I feel plain mad. But your efforts have shown me perhaps there is some hope. Keep it up. We will, Grandma. I told you we could change. I knew we could get back in your good graces. Okay, maybe the first one is the good option and the second one is the bad one. This one, I'm not sure which one would be the better option. I think maybe the first one. The second one kind of seems cash grabby. Of course, Lila is going to be an entertainer. Oh, look, Conrad, you have good compatibility with Ava. Let's see if you're interested in me. Oh, no, she's an alien. Or he's an alien. Um, I saw that. Um, no, thank you. I don't want aliens. I'm sorry. <laughs> because they tend to delete their relationships by memory wiping. So, no, thank you. Okay, I think technically Jules is supposed to be in a relationship with Bess, but for some reason the game doesn't recognize that. So we might just try Jules for Ava. All right, so Ava now has a boyfriend. Okay, so I think Alice Martin is pretty cute for Lila, so I'm going to hook them two up. Um, yeah, I think Leslie Holland is a bad match since she is infected. Maybe we'll go with Liberty instead for Eddie. Okay, now we have a significant other for everyone. Okay, Eddie wants to do rocket science? Uh, no, Eddie, I'm sorry, you can't. Um, well, maybe you can read about it, but you just can't do rocket science. Dirty money. Going over some routine expense reports, Ava notices some lines that don't seem to match up. Upon further investigation, she discovers that a lot of money is being funneled into some secretive ex executive accounts. Ava doesn't have much standing at the company yet, but this seems like the kind of thing she should take to the authorities, right? Um, turn it all over. Ava gave, gains fame and loses her job. Lose the papers. Um, yeah, she's going to lose the papers because we do not want to lose this job. Okay, Alice Martin is calling. Hey, Lila, I feel like trying something new and exciting. Something like changing careers. What do you think? Yeah, I think you should try a new career. Find. Um, I'm not sure what your old career was, but hopefully it's something creative because you are a creative music lover. Eddie has just noticed a section of software that is riddled with bugs. He can buckle down and report them all by himself or convince his zealous co-workers to do it. Um, I think he's going to pass the buck just because he's lazy. I'm trying to be true to these characters. Eddie tosses the job to his co-worker like a hot potato. It's a nice thought until his boss catches on. After a rather long speech about challenge, opportunity, and the QA mindset, Eddie is sent back to orientation. Okay, well, it doesn't really matter that much because he already has his promotion. He's level two of the tech guru career, and Ava is level two of the business career. The only one that really needs to get promoted is Lila because she just got her job. And unfortunately, she's almost starting to burn out. So I am having her do some logic skills, and we are trying not to be creative for the moment. Oh, Lila has enjoyed doing intellectual activities lately and desires to be a devouted bookworm moving forward. Okay, sure. I mean, she could be both creative and a bookworm. I think maybe we'll have her do repair tasks too then. Because to be honest, Eddie is not keeping up with all of the repair stuff that needs to be done. Come on, get rid of the creative fog. And then I will let you go to the bathroom. Okay, we got rid of the creative fog. Okay, the secret to not being burnt out is making sure that you are doing the other activity. Like if it says uh, you need to do intellectual activities, then make sure you're playing chess or something like that while the buff expires. It's not enough to just let the buff expire. You have to actually be actively doing the opposite activity while the buff is expiring. Otherwise, you will get burnt out. Okay, Eddie's midlife crisis has passed. 
So we no longer have to do strange things for him, like rocket science. Oh no, Kitty is running away. Because nobody was playing with her. I'm sorry, Kitty. I should have had someone play with you. Oh no, Nissa is gloomy because her cat left. Um, maybe. I mean, that's fine, but I don't know. Is Nissa gloomy? I guess that would be appropriate since she's disappointed in her in her grandkids, but it may ruin their compatibility because I picked compatibility likes and dislikes based on their current traits. And I think no one had gloomy, so I had them almost all hate gloomy people. Oh, and Ava is hot-headed. Yeah, I think hot-headed and mean, it goes, it goes together. But yeah, that, that's a little bit of a stretch. Oh no, not the dreaded bear suit phase. Oh, Alice is an artist now. So she's a painter, actually. That's pretty good for someone who is creative and a music lover. I mean, I guess you can be a music lover and a painter. It would be better if she was an entertainer, but eh, it's still okay. At least she wasn't a tech support agent or something like that. Now that everyone has a nine to five job, it seems that grandma is home alone. <laughs> And Gregory is at school, so I'm just going to have her paint since she likes painting and we need some income, basically. Now, I know technically the grandkids are supposed to earn the money, but to be honest, I don't really care. I just want to get the scenario over with. Okay, what is this fox doing? I might have to get rid of the foxes. They keep attacking my bunnies. No! I think March died. Did March die? Yes, I don't see March on my list of known pets anymore. Oh no, there he is. Okay, it's just that March is no longer a friend. He's an acquaintance. Oh, here's March. March is over here. All right, so a bunny died, but it wasn't March. Okay, where is the toxic mold? I know there's some in here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, there's puddles in the bathroom. That's not good. It must be up here. Oh, there it is. Well, none of the people that fix things are home. I'm not going to have Nissa do it. Uh, I think she'll probably just call a repair service. I think that's cheaper than replacing it, maybe. Let's see, 670 Smolians. Oh, Kitty is returned. Oh, wow. Kitty needs a bath. Unfortunately, you can't give cats a bath, but you can brush them and that will also get them clean. Okay, Lila has been promoted. That's good. Why have I earned 9,563 simoleons all of, of the sudden? Maybe because Ava has updated her fabulously wealthy aspiration. Well, in that case, we might get this done sooner rather than later. All right, so since we're close to earning the money, I need to get started on a family because basically they all have romantic partners, but they need to have children. And I don't want grandma to die first. So we got to hurry up and have a science baby with Alice. And to be honest with Eddie and Ava, I might also just have a science baby, although I can't really afford it yet. Oh, this is unfortunate. I can't afford to have a science baby with the other two, but I really also can't afford to wait for a pregnancy to go through. So, yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Lila's going to have equipped trip to the hospital and use her and Alice's Martin genetic material to have a new baby through science. You're ready to add a newborn to your household. Okay. But the thing is, I earned the money. And as soon as you earn the money, yeah, grandma dies. Alas, my time is drawing short. 
When you've lived as long as I have, you can feel it coming. Don't mourn me. I am going home to be with your grandfather and I will be watching from above. My one regret in life is that I never pushed you three to your full potential. Yeah, we have spoiled you and this is more my fault than yours, but you have proven that you have some strength of character and merit and that you can, with proper motivation, make something of yourselves. I have done my best to reward each of you with what I think you deserve. Ah, I didn't have the kid. I did not have enough time to have the kid. We earned the money too fast. I did not expect that. I don't know if Lila will get credit for having the baby because I think the inheritance letters are already decided and we're going to have Clara Landry. I think the inheritance is are already decided as soon as grandma dies. And I think that uh, pop-up I got was the disappointed one. So, yeah. But we do have enough for another science baby. And I could also... Let me just try and go ahead and have science babies, even though I'm pretty sure it won't count. At least we could say we tried. Oh, optional have siblings become best friends. And how can the siblings become best friends? There's three of them. Okay, now we have Norman Landry. Oh, Norman is just a perfect name for someone who is a geek. Oh, no, they got twins. Susanna. <laughs> Eddie has twins. All right, and the last one we need to have a child is Ava. And I don't know, maybe Lila and Eddie can become best friends. Layla. Ava named her girl Layla. <laughs> it's kind of close to Lila. Sure, why not? Oh no, she had twins too. <laughs> Elijah. Okay, so we have two sets of twins. No. Triplets. No. <laughs> well, at least I don't have to take care of all these babies because this is over. All right, Trey. Or Tre. How do you say that? I don't like that name. Okay, sorry. Roger. That's better. I, I don't know how to say T-R-E if it's Trey or Tre or what. What the heck? Um. All right. I have four MC commands that are must be set to allow more than one. Oh, I copied the settings from another game, but I didn't realize that that other game allowed more than three babies. Okay, how many am I going to get? All right, we had triplets. Um, I am pretty sure that was more than three, though. We had Layla, Elijah, Roger, and Liana. That was quadruplets. Oh my gosh, look at all babies that's insane i don't have enough room for them all oh no eddie's hysterical um yeah don't die on me please you just had kids and you haven't read your inheritance letter and i'm kind of curious as to um how this turned out we need to mourn grandmother read the inheritance letter and we did the have siblings become best friends Oh, no. Improve friendship relationship between siblings until siblings are good friends or higher. I'm pretty sure I did that, though. Oh, no. I see. Ava is not really good friends. Okay. I also had them remove all of their good sentiments because sometimes they actually count as bad sentiments. Okay. We did that one. I'm checking it off. Some of these just don't happen correctly, especially if you do it with Social Bunny. So now we need to mourn grandmother and engrave her urn. That ends the scenario, though. We don't want to do that until last. So we should probably strengthen her spirit. Jealous. Um, so he was cheated on? Okay, fine, whatever. I'm ending the scenario soon, so that's fine. Apparently, um, there's some kind of flirting going on here that shouldn't be. We will just send all of these people home. Okay, Eddie is born to Nyssa, and he's going to also strengthen her connection to the physical world. And then hopefully, I can get a good inheritance out of this. 
Okay, everyone has mourned grandmother pretty much. Oh, add grandmother's ghost to the household? That is uh, an optional thing that we can do. Can we? Sure, we'll add her to the household. Oh, she's angry. Okay, let's see if we can get the ghost to add to the household. Because we have, um, about, I think 20 is our limit for the household members. Sure, I don't think that will affect our inheritance letters, but... It's funny, none, nevertheless, <laughs> because we sold all of Grandma's stuff in her room. I thought that, oh, no, 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 no don't be mean. Don't be mean. <laughs> Come on. Oh, you got a hurt sentiment. No, that, that is not fair. I am cheating that away. You are not allowed to do that. Why are you mad? She's just randomly angry. Okay, well, I will send you to sleep. And then hopefully... That will make you not able to interact with anyone. Okay, we'll start with Eddie. We got... Okay, yeah, we did not get the good one, I don't think. The last will and testament of the family's estate. Dear Eddie Landry, I have... I leave you the sum of 25616 as a reminder of the hard work and dedication that your grandmother and I put into amassing our wealth. However, I have concerns that if I left too much to you and your siblings, it may only serve to encourage your reckless behavior. This small sum is meant to help you stay afloat, but it is also a reminder that you must take responsibility for your own success. I implore you to cherish your siblings and work together to establish a legacy of your own. Do not rely solely on the wealth that has been left to you, but use it wisely in a way that will benefits both yourself and your family. It is time to grow up and prove yourself as a responsible and productive member of society with cautious optimism for your future grandmother. Okay, I think we disappointed grandmother. I don't know if you can really get the one where she's happy with you because it seems like maybe it's the way you answer the questions, but I don't know. The, scenari the scenario might also be broken, so... There is that. Oh, Ava got much more because she had more kids, maybe? Wow. Ava got 124,305. Now, it's not millions of simoleons, but Ava had the most kids. And she earned the most money, probably. Because I was working on her fabulously wealthy aspiration. So I don't know, maybe aspirational steps count, but it's, it's like you don't have enough time to do all this stuff because earning 10,000 simoleons is basically what ends the scenario and it just happens too fast. It is with great pleasure that I bequeath to you the sum of 124,305. Your grandfather and I worked tirelessly for many years to amass this wealth and it gives me great comfort to know that it will be put to good use. Despite the occasional disagreements and moments of tension, I have witnessed your capacity for kindness, determination, and hard work. I am proud of the person you have become, Ava, and I trust that you will use this money to continue and contribute positively to our family and the society as a whole. Okay, that was slightly better than Eddie's response. All right, so I guess Ed Ava one grandmother's favor a little bit more what about lila no lila got the crappy response she only got thirty thousand eight hundred and seventy. she basically got the same response as eddie okay we added grandmother's ghost to the household <laughs> all right so anyway we had children after grandmother died but before we read the will so maybe it still counts if you're still doing things after grandmother dies. Well, there's nothing really left to do except for engrave grandmother's urn and end the scenario because we've already seen the results. And it would actually be kind of interesting to see if we uh, engrave it with Ava, what really happens. Um, for some reason, the strengthen didn't work or if it did... Okay, maybe because I added her to the household, it was kind of strange. The strengthened didn't really work. But she's part of the household, so it doesn't matter if it's strengthened or not. I'm going to do it just in case. Um, I don't have the option to 
engrave her urn. Um, hmm. Oh, engrave epitaph. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, wish you were here. We'll do that. Scenario completed. Oh, grandmother's spirit lives on. That is different than what I have seen before because I added her to the household, maybe? The three siblings couldn't bear to let their stern but loving grandmother go. Bringing her back as a ghost means that her guidance, love, and stern advice will continue on from beyond the grave. I didn't know that that was a possible result for this. Next steps. While the death of, gra while the death of grandma cut deep, Sims are capable of extraordinary things. Find a way to bring your grandmother back to life. Let her continue on as a ghost or let her go back to the netherworld. Your choice. Um, I already cho chose which one. <laughs> She's a ghost in the family. All right. Well, we have... I've got to get away from all of these babies. All right. Come on. Everyone come up here and care for the babies. No, don't go to sleep. Come up here and care for the babies. This is just ridiculous. All right. Well... Maybe we'll do something with this family later. I mean, because I had huge plans. I was going to expand this upstairs and make it so all of the siblings could live here with their one. I thought I was going to have one child each. Um, but yeah, now it's not possible. <laughs> but I was going to have every all of the siblings live here and pay for their own little room. And move out of the living room area but yeah that didn't happen i didn't have enough time so maybe i'll do that let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in something like that and this is charity thanks for watching